Okay, everyone, so before this video starts, well, no, the video has started, I, well, I just want to say that I'm laying out my screen like this, so, you know. Now, I've also made a little button which you can click to get money, um, and a little thing which displays money. I'll show you that by pressing play now, quick. Um, the reason why I've done this is just to cut down time. You lot may already have some system to get money. Um, this is very simple. You lot can probably find a way of doing this anywhere. Um, and I'm also going to make this tutorial work for pretty much all your games. So if you don't ha yet have a money variable or some sort of variable that you want to change, that's fine. And if you do, then that's fine because I'll show you, I'll show you ways in both perspectives. Now, basically, what I'm talking about here is let's say let me just get up to ten. Let's say you earn a thousand. So let me just change my click value. You get a hundred click. Let's say you get 1,000, so let's just, boom, 1,020. Rather than that saying 1,020, you might want to make that say 1.0k, or 1.02k, or 1,000. If you want to do that, I'm going to show you that today. Now, there are there's like only like one other tutorial that I can find on this, on the whole of the internet, really. And it's like 40 odd minutes long. Now, with respect to them, it can work, it does work if you're making your own script, but it's not very clear if you already have variables that exist. Now, all I'm going to say is all this button does is link up to this game handler empty object. So make, you have, make sure you have an empty object named game handler or whatever. And you want to make a new script, so right click create C sharp script and just call it whatever. I've called it cache handler and put it into your game handler. Now, what you're going to want to do is, if you don't already, you want to have a money variable and a click value variable, or a way of making money. And um, another way that basically, well, you also want to have money text. So I'll go into the script quick, and I'll show you. You want to have a money variable. Mine's a double. It can, it, this will work with an int and a long. It might work with a big double. It should work with a big double. And you want an int click value, or however you're going to make money. And a text which is money text. Now this is important. You want to type in at the top underneath using Unity Engine, using Unity Engine dot UI. That's very important because otherwise you won't be able to access things such as text. Make sure you have a money text which is this thing up here, and a click value text which is not click value text. Sorry, click value which is this, and money which is that. Anyway, next moving on. This is my void start where I'm just declaring what the variables are. Uh, you might not need one, but for now what we do need is a void update. We'll get into this in a minute, so I'm just going to control X that out. Now, I've got a click button function down here, which is just for me to make money whenever I click the button, so we can just ignore that. So we just dropped some lines down here. Say, so ignore below. This is just for... Clicking the button or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, so now in void, first of all, actually, instead of void update, we need to do something here, which is going to be we're going to, need to lay these out. So let's make two new variables. That's all we need is two variables. It's going to be a public, and then public, and you can you have to say double or if your thing is int, then it would be public int. Um, you know what, actually, no, I'm going to use public float, because it will be a decimal, but it shouldn't matter, so don't worry. Um, a public float, and we'll call this, um, money converter, or something like that, okay? And now the next thing we'll do is, sim this is literally it for that. The only other thing we got to do is we don't need another variable but we do need to make a function which will be public void and then we'll call this cache converter or something like that and then drop down with your brackets and whoops and boom so now inside a cache converter we want to say it will say if and then money in our case whoops brackets 
money um, is bigger than or equal to. Oh, we'll start with a thousand. One thousand. Then what we do is we say we get our variable up here, which is money converse. We'll say money converter equals money divided by 1000. It's literally that simple. And it will give you this error because why is it giving us the error? Double to float. Oh, so sorry. This right here has to be whatever your thing is. So if yours is an int, so say you have public int, whoops. So you have public int money, this has to be public int money converter. I have a double, so I'm going to use double. If you have long, use long. If you have big double, use big double. It should work with big double. Um, and then, you'll just want to say, end. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's one thing I forgot to do here, which is just that. Okay, there we go. And that's literally the first one done. Now what we want to do is, Go into update and we want to say if and then money. So we'll go if money is bigger than or equal to 1000 because this is our one, this is our thousand format. Then we'll say um, we'll get our text, which is money text dot text equals, and it was, in this case, we'll say money with a space because. You know, otherwise it just look a bit unneat. Plus, and then we'll say money converter, money converter dot to string. This bit's important. And then you have, and then you want to do this kind of um, quotation marks in a bracket, basically. And you want to put an F, and then how many decimal points you want. Now, if you want to, if you want no decimal points, you put F zero. Then it'll be kind of bad because it'll just say 1k, 2k. It'll only update every 1k. If you have f1, it'll say 1.1k, 1.2k. If you have f2, it'll say 1.11, 1.12. I'm going to leave it at one f2 for now because I think that'll be better. And then a plus again. And then this is a bit. We want a space in our quotation marks here. Thousand. Or you could do no space and a k. Doesn't matter. And boom. Simple. Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to use K because it's a lot easier to type out. But you could just use um, thousand. I'll write that there. I'll write down or thousand because why not? Now, if you were to quickly act, tell you what, we'll save this. And we'll head over to Unity, let it import, and I'll see when it's imported. There we go, everyone. So now that it's done, we'll show, I'll show you this. Now, this is this. It, <laughs> now we'll appreciate it if you could subscribe because we have spent a lot of time on this. This isn't working, so we'll go fix that in a second. It's not working because of that. Okay, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. Um, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe because we spent quite a while on trying to figure out why. You know, trying to figure out how to make all this work. So, what is the problem here? We're saying money plus money can. Oh, that's that's why because it's only working if our money is greater than a thousand. So, what we also want is another if to say if our money is less than one thousand, because otherwise it's not going to do anything. And then we'll say we'll just copy this whole line here. And we can get rid of that plus k there. And in fact, actually, we can just get rid of all of that and just say plus money. Dot, and then you could do dot two string if you want, but you don't have to. And boom, simple. Now, if we save that, hello. Right. There we are. It's done its job. Then let's refresh the variables. Now, if we click play, it should say money zero. Yep, there we go. Then we'll click for money. Click, 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 and as you can see, it's just going up normally now. If I was just to change my click value up a little bit, there we go. There we go, and now we'll say five click value. Now just go back to one again. It should work. Boom. Now it says 0.00k. 0 .00
Oh, okay, so everyone, the reason this isn't working, after a little bit of searching, is because we need to call the function from the update. So, at, right at the top of update, we can just say, call the function by typing in cache, converter, like that, and boom. Simple. Now we save that, we'll go over into Unity, it will do some importing. It shouldn't take long, considering we only wrote like one line of code. But it's my laptop when recording, so... It's going to take half an hour stream. Don't worry about that. That's just some other YouTube channels. Anyway, just click play once it's... Okay, now... Yep, so this should work now. Now that we're actually calling the function. Before, we weren't even calling it. So it's just, you know, flat on zero. So, you know, we'll get... To, I'll just increase my click value quick. Two of them will do the trick. And now we'll go back to ones, and it should go to 1k. Boom! There we go. And we'll just give ourselves 1,010. Now, there are a couple of problems with this, which are it rounds up. Now, there are ways to fix this from rounding, but I'm not going to get into that. It's not that serious at the moment. It's just by five, so it might just be slightly out. Um, if if you don't want to try and round it down, it is possible, so I challenge you lot to have a go. And now that we've done 1,000, we want to move on to a million. So next, we all we got to do is copy this. In fact, actually, we'll do quite a few at the moment. So we'll copy this, and we'll paste it, and we'll say, if money's bigger than 1 million, which is, by the way, 100, with three zeros on the end, with an extra zero, which is the way I think of it is a hundred thousand and then a one million, like that. And we're gonna say money text dot text equals money, money converter dot two string f two. We'll get into the f's in a minute. Now for testing purposes, I'm gonna put all these at f five, m, or million. And as you can see, you'll get this error here, which, if you were to hover over this, it expects you to put a semicolon, which I don't know why. Oh, it's up here because of this. So there we are. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll just copy this. Well, actually, no, we'll copy this here. So we'll copy this if statement down here. Simply paste it underneath. Get our million, paste it in there, divide by a million. If you want, you can copy this, do it again, but for a million and a billion, which is 100 and then a thousand. Whoops, 100, 100,000, 100, 100 million, 1 billion, which is that number there. And boom. And there won't be any timestamps on this video, but I may leave these numbers in the description for you. And then we will do trillion, which is a hundred, a hundred thousand, a hundred million, one hundred billion, a trillion. And we'll stop at a trillion just for now. And we'll copy that, drop down, paste it again, and grab our advanced numbers and paste them in. We need to keep this under a thousand for a reason, but the two strain, like I say, for testing. Actually, I'm going to do F10 because 10 decimals because these are huge numbers. And I'll do KM and then after a million, it's obviously billion and trillion. Or you could do billion or trillion or trill and bill and mill and foul. <laughs> It's not really a short version for foul. Nor a trillion, either. Like, bill is like one bill. But you can't really have one trill. It doesn't really... One trill. It doesn't quite work. And then one quadrill. Yeah, it doesn't work. Very well. Now, promise me this will work. We'll go test it, anyway. Make sure it works. And then from there, you can basically just do it... Do more yourself. There is a limit to how high in numbers you can go. Especially with things such as ints. And that's just Unity for you. 
the uh, we'll give this a test and then we'll call it a video because it is just that simple. And if you're making a game where you have to like buy upgrades, like an idle game, trust me, it'll still work because it's a whole separate variable. It's actually displaying there, so that it's saying 10k. And we'll go. You know what? We'll go right up to a mil, which I will just increase this. Buy another four. There we go, one mil. Now you can probably shorten that to three decimals if you wanted. Now after a mil we'll say we'll say after a million it should say B. Yep, with billion you could probably do it to about there in decimals. And the number starts getting small, but that's because my text is small. You can always play around with that and play around with the decimals as well. And then we'll just increase this and it should end up saying trillion. In fact, you know, I'll just change this to 999999 until uh, it says 999 bill and then boom, trillion. So yeah, you can you lot can play around with the decimals if you want. You could then add a oh, sorry. you could then add a um some more numbers. I'll give you a list here. You've got, after trillion, you've got quadrillion, and then you can have quantillion, and you could have, after quantillion, you could have, you have sextillion, then you can have sep, oops, septillion. I don't think it goes anything past septillion, that might be the limit, but if you can get past that somehow, there is a way you can, like, convert to variables and stuff. Uh, then you've got octillion, uh, not yeah, octillion, then nonillion, and the list goes on. If you want me to continue, there will be a whole list in the description. But yeah, you can all, you can go all the way up to skewers number. Although Unity will not go that high, trust me. And then you've got you've even got Go you've even got a Google, and a Google, Googleplex. But trust me, Unity's not going to go any higher than that. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to... Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed this video, let us know. If you don't want us to do more videos on Unity, let us know what you want us to do videos on. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.